actually I was going to not have any more kids before Lily. And then I changed my mind when I was like getting to go down to have surgery to not have kids anymore. So then out pops Lily. She was little. She was 3 pounds, 13 ounces. And she was so small that you could like hold her in the palm of your hand like this. She was, she was, she was so little that I actually, preemie clothes didn't even fit her. Like I used to have to shrink them and put preemie clothes on her. When she was two months old, she actually had RSV and stopped breathing and had to be flight for life to Milwaukee. She was three pounds, or she was six pounds at two months old. Um, stayed in the hospital for 10 days. Fought through that. It's kind of um, did some lung damage or whatever, so she kind of always fought with like respiratory issues, like since she was a baby. Um, she was always really determined. She um, learned to tie her shoes. She used to make fun of Quincy because Quincy couldn't tie his shoes until he was like way older. So she could tie her shoes and he couldn't, so she used to make fun of him all the time. But she was very. I mean, she was a good baby. Um, my brother Mike that's in a wheelchair had, like, really crazy hair. And my niece Katie and her are only a few months apart, and Katie was terrified of him. But Lily used to, like, climb up onto his wheelchair and climb up onto his lap and stuff when she was little. So. She knew, like, everyone's name and middle name and, that, like, you know what I mean? She used to, like, go through that. She knew everybody's birthday. Yep, she used to memorize phone numbers. Like, all, it was crazy. She'd be, like, two, three, like, three, four years old. Oh, yeah, she, um, when she was a baby, like, she would just sit there. She was, like, so quiet that I thought she was deaf. So I used to, like, bang pots and pans next to her to see if it would startle her, and she just would stare at me. So I thought she was deaf. Like, I was like, well, at least we live in Delavan and we have a deaf school here. I'd rather her be deaf than blind. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> but then she wasn't. Yeah, it's crazy. School, Lily always followed the rules. So I remember, and I might have told this story already, but she wore her boots and her snow pants, and then it was like the end of March, and she was still wearing her boots and snow pants to school, and it was like 70 degrees, and I'm like, Lily, you don't have to wear that, and she's like, no, she's like, my teacher said we need to wear boots and snow pants every day, and she hasn't told me that I haven't had to wear them yet, so she, um, I had to call the school and tell them to tell her teacher to have her not wear her boots and snow pants so that she would stop wearing them. Uh, she always was really athletic, loved to fish, wanted to hunt, like wanted to get her, like go take her certification to get her like hunting license and stuff. Hated anything that represented any kind of girly type things. Like she was always in the mud. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like when I used to have to pay her to wear skirts. I'd have to give her a dollar for a pair of pants. She had like 35 pairs. And she used to hustle people all the time. Like she was like, she'd be like four or five years old. And she would be like, hey, I'll give you this dollar for a $10 bill. Like she used to hustle people all the time. Like try to like hustle them out of money. Which was funny. She just as always was like really funny. Like doing stupid things. And um. It's funny because she used to like go down to the creek all the time and go on a fish and stuff, but she was really little. And I remember one time I was at work and Kia was supposed to be watching her and she couldn't find her. And so I like drove, flew home from work and I'm like, oh my God, she's lost. And she was down at the creek catch, catching crayfish. Like, and she had to like, pat, you know, we had lived on kind of like a busy street. So she was probably about maybe seven. Yeah. Yeah. She was like seven. So she was always out playing basketball with the boys, like running around, playing tag and playing football ever since she was little. Like she never wanted to do the girly things. And then they're like in grade school, she used to always complain because she's like, God, these girls are like so girly and like all they care about is their boyfriends and she's like oh my god she's like this is so stupid <laughs> she used to go home and tell me I'm glad I don't I'm glad I'm not when she was at Turtle Creek she's like I'm glad I don't I'm not in that particular hall because that's where all like the girls are that are girly and she wasn't about that 
and then Riley broke my garage door, and she went out there and fixed it for me. She used to, like, drag stuff from the garbage and, like, try to fix it. All the time, she's, like, a big garbage picker. Like, we'd be driving around, and she'd be like, oh, my God, stop. Like, there'd be a big pile of garbage and crap, and she'd always want to take it out and take it home. I mean, she brought so much junk home. Like, it was ridiculous. She was, like, the junk collector. We used to tell her she my mom was such a baby with cute went to college. She cried all the time. And we were, like, in the line at McDonald's, and she told my mom that my mom needs therapy because she always cried so much. And so um, when Kiana went to college, Lily, like, spent hours making this little pillow. And on one side, it had an M for mom, and on the other side, it said Kia, right? And then on the other side, it said Kia, and she gave it to my mom. And... Um, our Christmas tree, she, last year, she set it all up on her own. She wouldn't let anybody help her. She just wanted to do it all by herself. And if, like, she did it, and then if the lights were messed up or something, and we, like, tried to tell her about it, she'd get all mad and, like, make us, she would, like, yell at us if we tried to fix it or something, and she'd, like, tell us to leave her alone. She didn't want us to touch it because she did She would, like, we'd go sledding, and it'd be, like, super cold out, and she'd want my mom to take us. For a little bit, we'd use, like, garbage bags to go down the thing, or use, like, boxes <laughs> to fight poops and hose. And JC and me would always be Lily's girlfriend, like, she'd be our pimp and stuff like that. She'd, like, walk around with a cane and, like, put on, like, my mom's coats, like, her big jackets, and, like, act like she was our pimp and stuff like that. Um, they were, usually, when JC would always sleep over at my house, I would always fall asleep first. Like, I'd never stay up, and her and Lily would stay up, like, seriously, until, like, 4 in the morning, and just do stupid stuff all the time, and they'd always, like, prank me, like, they'd take feathers and, like, tickle my nose, or, like, make, like, take pictures of me and, like, put bark on my face and stuff like that. Um, and, oh, yeah, we would play the connect, and she told Jocko that he looked like, he was, like, a white boy who didn't know how to dance, and then we'd be dancing, and she would, like, she didn't really know how to <laughs> move to the rhythm, so she'd just, like, move, but she was, like, really, like, <laughs> stuff about it and stuff. Um, she loved to play guitar hero with the controller. She always bragged because she would complain on Xbox. Every time that we made food, like if we'd be home and it was just us, we would like make food all the time, but we'd always pretend like we were a cooking show. So we'd like set my phone up and act like we were like the, you know, like the professional cookers and like get knives and try to chop off fast and stuff like that. <laughs> all the time and we'd like make like really like bougie ghetto names and like make our names all weird and stuff like that and like act like we were the professional cookers and we were like on a show and stuff like that. She would always convince me to buy her candy at the store even though I didn't have enough money. She'd always convince me to give up buying food for myself to buy her Skittles. <laughs> and I don't know, she was always so funny. And she'd come over to my house. And I made her some really expensive steak that I found in my fridge. And she told me I cooked it horribly. And she started making it herself. It was Christmas. And they had people over, a lot of people over. And Lily got, like, these really nice Nerf guns. And Tally fell asleep. She was, like, napping. <laughs> Lily and I were trying to shoot Tally in the face. <laughs> but, like, not in her eye, obviously. And we got her in her eye. And she was so mad. Oh my gosh, we would have a big stairs. imagination. We would always, the, the fun thing about, like, hanging out with them is, like, we would never be on our electronics. Like, we had iPods and phones and stuff like that, but we, like, never watched TV. We never went on computers or phones. We'd always, like, make a game up. Like, we'd play, like, zombies or we'd play that game or they had a really big yard and they had, like, a cornfield and we'd run out in that. We would find something, too. We'd walk to the lake. We would always, well, we would always be involved in everything we did, like, no matter what. She was always involved. Like, we played Truth or Dare. She was involved. <laughs> she did some crazy stuff. Um, we would, I don't know, we'd always just do everything with her. We'd, we'd always include Lily. She was just really mature. Um, Lily's passing um, affected our community in a way that really I've never seen before. Um, Lily was so involved with sports, her friends, uh, community activities, her family. Uh, her reach extended across all different um, students of many ages. Uh, very young children knew her, uh, high schoolers knew her. Uh, 
it, there was no definite group of people that Lily belonged with or belonged to. She could get along with everybody. She helped everybody. Um, there were no lines or boundaries with Lily in terms of who she would work with or help. So when, when she passed, our community felt it in many ways because she was so involved with all parts of the community. She was involved with people who were adults that were very directly affected by her passing. Uh, there were young kids, there were kids her age, her peers, her classmates, uh, her, her fellow uh, teammates on the football team, coaches, just so many people across so many uh, social groups, age groups. Um, it, it, it was a really deep impact because she was so involved with so many people. Uh, with Lily's passing and the way she was so connected to so many people, there's been a lot of ways that people have honored her, recognized her, remembered her. Um, I know that at Phoenix Middle School, there is an award called Living Like Lily, where students are nominated and recognized by their peers uh, for doing things um, the way Lily would have, for example, Lily would often be the one who would sit with somebody who didn't have someone else sitting with them at lunch or on the bus. And, and if they see their peers doing those things, uh, that's something they consider. Uh, they look at uh, Lily's characteristics, how she was nice to everybody. She was friendly. She was caring. Um, she worked very hard academically. Uh, she was really top-notch in everything she did. She gave it her all. So there, there's an award there that recognizes other students that, like Lily, always give their best and do, do their best to treat those around them with respect and kindness. Um, there is a display case in the school that has some pictures of her uh, and some of the things she was involved with, different aspects of her life. Um, there's also, I know that on the anniversary of her passing, there'll be a few school events as well. There will be uh, lunch where we're going to be serving uh, Lily's favorite foods at lunch. Uh, I know we'll be wearing uh, Living Like Lily t-shirts that many of us had gotten last year. Uh, and I also know there's there's a basketball game where some uh, students will get the opportunity to go down and shoot baskets for a little bit at halftime with some of Lily's family members. So um, a lot of things going on that honor and remember her for who she was and a lot of people looking to see that in others, uh, especially being that she touched so many lives and that we miss her so much.
Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,